look at him. He doesn't want me to give attention to my bullet journal. He wants attention. <laughs> Welcome to another journal video. I'm going to show you how I did my January, no, not January, February spreads. But first, I'm going to show you how the January spreads uh, ended up looking. So, this is the front page. There was really nothing to show of importance here. So, this page is finally filled. This um, cloud balloon here was my first idea for the cover page for the January spread. Uh, I ended up not doing it, but the do is here and it's really cute. Second page, I also really like this terrarium cloud thingy. The last week, you could see I skipped a few weeks back then because I started journaling uh, in the middle of January, more or less. Um, and I really like this doodle. I will probably do a sticker of it in the future, but this is the general look of the January spreads. So let's go to the February ones. So for this month's theme, I wanted to do something to do with technology. I am sort in a video game vibe lately and also using my computer a lot so I guess this would be a great theme. I really wanted to do something else but I didn't know what exactly so I ended up just drawing a bunch of windows, uh, windows, uh, windows tabs I think it's the correct term for those. I just draw some plants around it for it not to be completely boring looking and I also chose one of my favorite colors for journaling which is this pale rose color I think it's pretty good you will see here my cat showing up uh, as usual, he demands my attention. <laughs> as for the other spreads, I did not change the layout that much, really. Because, as I said on my late video, on my last video, I really needed to keep my journal simple in order to actually use it correctly. Because I have so much that I want to do during the day and I don't want to spend too much time on journaling and I just end up doing minimalistic stuff and I'm kind of liking where this is going lately, to be honest. I did a bunch of collectibles on this page, so this month's birthstone is the amethyst and the birth flower is the violet. I also used this space this time not to draw the moon faces, but to draw a random doodle. I used an old screen <laughs> and I just wrote down an error inside of it. 
I am kind of going into a vaporwave vibe lately, so I guess this is where the technological vibe is coming from. I don't know. So this is what the cover spread for February looks like and let's go to the weekly spreads. So there's really nothing special about the weekly spreads, I think. I always like to leave some space for the future. so that if I want to doodle something or if I am in the mood to write something down, some quote of how I am feeling that week, I have the space to do so and I am really loving how I did that in the last month because you can see on the January spread on the last week it was raining a lot but I really enjoyed that rain and I wrote down some positive quotes about the rain and it's really a nice way to keep the weeks um, as how you are feeling that in that time. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I really liked it a lot. I joined the first and the second weeks of February here because the first week only has two days or three. I guess, but not much more going on, only notes and the tracking on the habit tracker on the right. It really worked last month for me, so I really liked it. And this is it, this is my layout for this month. So this is it for this month's journal, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, if you want to see more subscribe and also follow me on my social media and I see you on the next video.